I'm building a linear regression model in C with no help. No libraries, not even Google. I'm unplugging my internet cable and staring at VS Code until I finish this project. This is that story. Okay, I obviously needed internet to download the Windows subsystem for Linux, and I did use ChatGPT to help me out here. So once I was on my own, I wrote basic test data in the form of y equals 2x plus 1. I'd know if the model was working if the weight and bias converged to these numbers. Next, I wrote my function prototypes. I was planning to have three functions, one to calculate the bias gradient, one for the weight gradient, and one for gradient descent. And here you can see me opening up paint to try to recall the equations for the weight and bias gradient without googling. I made a really big mistake here by writing a square in the exponent. This would go on to be a massive problem that I just didn't figure out during the challenge and only realized this when skimming the footage for this video. So after writing down those definitions, I just wrote the functions for the weight gradient and bias gradient. I went through an internal conflict on whether or not I should be a good programmer and write function headers, but ultimately the demons won out and I decided against it. This was also partly because my copy-paste shortcut stopped working. I thought it was because of some VS Code setting I turned off to disable autocomplete, but copy-paste would randomly start and stop working for the rest of this project, so I just typed out everything like it was 1973. So now it was time to write the gradient descent function. I made a struct containing two float values for the weight and bias, so I could just return the struct once the gradient descent finished. And it actually compiled first try. No, no it didn't. I spent an absurd amount of time trying to fix syntax issues when I could just, you know, Google it. But I would never break that rule, right? So even after getting it to compile, I obviously had some issues with my code. Instead of being 2 and 1, I was getting this. The square in the gradient formula, yeah, it didn't go anywhere. At some point, I did get suspicious of how I was calculating my weight and bias gradients, so I printed the gradient with the weight and bias starting at their correct values, but saw that they were both 0 as expected, so I didn't think anything of it. I spent about half an hour of not getting this to work, so I did the unthinkable. I changed the minus to a plus. This is just blatantly incorrect, but I was desperately trying to understand why I wasn't getting the correct values. So after changing that part, I saw that the gradient was in fact descending at each iteration. I was just relieved it was working and wanted to move on. So now it was time to do multiple linear regression. I was avoiding the main logic by trying, and failing, to make pretty print functions for debugging purposes. So my idea for the new test data was to just copy the same x values to be the second feature and see if the returned weights for both were equal. If they were, then I'd know that the gradient descent was implemented correctly. At first, I tried to use a double pointer with malloc, but I completely forgot how to dynamically allocate a multi-dimensional array. So I did the unthinkable and no, no, never. I just hardcoded both arrays. I didn't like this approach because... Well, you shouldn't hardcode anything, but ChatGPT gave me a makefile with all warnings enabled, and I was just desperate to get something to work. But that didn't work, so I tried this, this, and even this. And, well, I wasn't having syntax issues anymore, but I had a seg fault that I couldn't quite narrow down. I opened up GDB to try to fix this, but remembered that I don't actually know how to use this thing. I knew I was just seconds away from googling it. All I had to do was plug my internet cable back in. So I got out my physical copy of the C programming language to see if they included a segment on 2D arrays. Now technically they did, but it was hard coded and I really wanted to use malloc for some reason. After a while, I did end up resolving the seg fault, but was getting some garbage values and couldn't figure out why. At this point, I realized I literally couldn't progress any further on my own and decided to use Google. I spent a whole hour trying to get this working on my own, but just couldn't, so I think it was justified. I googled how to dynamically allocate a 2D array, and disconnected my internet to not cheat again. With that hour of paint out of the way, I could actually implement linear regression. So I opened up paint again to write out the gradient for multiple weights, but after seeing how I drew the partial derivative sign, I realized I was about to get cooked if I tried writing this at 2am, so I gave up and went to bed. I woke up the next day, I mean the same day, and got right to work. I added the word simple to the work from yesterday so I could make three new functions that had the same idea just for multiple weights. 
I also made a new struct to have an array of floats for the weights as well as the bias. Writing these new functions wasn't as bad as I thought. I just changed the weight to be an array and looped over each weight. Of course, this logic isn't hard-coded to a fixed number, so it could work with an arbitrary number of input features. And then it was more seg faults. I spent half an hour trying to fix this without progressing, so I decided to open up GDB and try using it again. I really can't emphasize how little I know how to use GDB. Of course, I would love to have an internet connection to watch a 7 minute video explaining how to use it, but I felt really bad about breaking the no internet rule, so I tried figuring it out alone. After staring into this terminal for a bit, I remembered the G flag from my C programming class last semester. So after including that, I typed in run and it printed this out. So I went straight to line 86 to initialize the array and as you can see, the gradient is in fact descending. I changed the number of features to 3 to see if it would still work, and it does. So I thought it was good enough, challenge completed. So what did we learn from this experience? Well, most importantly, study up syntax before a no internet challenge. I really don't know what I was thinking going into this blind. I think taking breaks is also important. Aside from literally sleeping for 6 hours, I did both sessions in one go. I think if I took just a 5 minute break early on, I might have realized the whole squaring issue and would have progressed much faster. I also had a lot of small coding problems, like leaving some arrays uninitialized, and a very big problem, which is I forgot to free my dynamically allocated memory. But honestly, given that I only googled one thing, and that this was my first major C project, I'm proud of the outcome. So, was machine learning in C a mistake? Maybe. It's obviously not practical when you could just do this in Python, but I did get some C reps in. Without internet? Yes, that was a massive mistake for sure. I plan on doing more coding challenges like this in the future, so if you want to see more suffering or cool projects, then I encourage you to subscribe. Thank you for watching.